I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another NatCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 252, How to Identify the First Day of a Fiscal Month Using Rank and Select. I have here a very basic model, and what I want to do is I want to have made available to the user the first days of fiscal months in these dropdowns. So I want to constrain these inputs so that only the first day of the fiscal month uh, shows. I have, to help me with that, I have a list of fiscal dates and their associated fiscal months. If I go down here to 2018 and I look at 8-1, I can see that my fiscal year for period 8 of 2018 started on 729. So I would want only that date available to me in the drop down. If I wanted to see it for period 9, then I would see this 826 18 date available to me in the drop down. So every first day of the fiscal month is what I want to have available to me in this drop down because this is going to then drive some some queries in the in a data poll that I'm pulling in. So how do I identify the first day of each fiscal month here in this matrix? Well, first what I want to do is I want to create a concatenated key of both the financial month and the financial year. And how I do this is simply got by going fin month number, hitting my ampersand sign, doing double quote, pipe character, uh, double quote, with an ampersand and then pulling in fin year. As you can see, I have kind of this key list that's now available to me. And then what I want to do is I want to find a rank and I want to rank these from top to bottom, uh, which is the, which is the greatest value by each of this year month combination. So I go here and I say this rank, if you will, equals rank my this financial date, uh, what is my value list? If I go in here and I say select, what I want to select, I want to select the financial date down the entire row. So I'm going to hit row. And what is my key list? My key list is actually my year month down the entire row. And what is my lookup value? It is year month that I'm on. And I want this ascending, so I'm going to put uh, 2 as my order argument in here, which would be like that. After I close my select, 2 is going to be my order argument for ascending. If I go ahead and I hit enter, then I would see that indeed on 826 of 18, that is the first day of period, of fiscal period uh, 9 of 2018. I go down here, I would see 930 is the first day of fiscal period 10 of 28. So then after that, what I need to do is I need to go over here to my date selection. I'm going to select on constraint input, and then I'm going to write a select statement. And I'm going to put it in the expression. And with that, I'm going to say go out and select the financial date where the rank here is equal to 1. I'm going to sort it in a pop-up. I'm going to convert it to numeric values. When I do so, we can then see in my drop-down that I have available to me only the first days of each of the fiscal months. So if I get down here into 2018 and I'm looking at October-ish, you can see November-ish that 10 or 9-30-2018 is the first day of fiscal month of October, which is being shown to me here as well in my data. So that's how I would do it uh, using kind of the rank select function in order to find the first day of a fiscal month. If you have any questions about uh, Quantrix, I do hope that you reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I also encourage you to go to quantrixauthority.com to learn more. Today's podcast is brought to you by...
LawQuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master.